<laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. So uh, I haven't had anything um, recently that I could share on the channel, um, but today I, I've got something and it's kind of experimental rigging. So one thing that we've often wanted is the bicep behind the torso and the forearms in front of the torso. Um, so today I'm going to try some experimental rigging on Delvin. Um, so we can go take a peek at the artwork. Everything is set up exactly like I always do, except for we've got two instances of the right arm and I've made them identical. I don't know if we would need all the extra forearms um, on the layer that's going to be invisible, but I want them to move exactly the same. So, so I just duplicated the arms. So right arm, then torso, then right arm again. Okay, so let's go back into the rigging and we'll start off just like normal. So first thing I'll do is rename my behavior, sorry. <laughs> um, so we'll go into face and rename it torso. And while we're in torso, we might as well turn off the floating. So head's position strength zero, head scale zero, head tilt at about 30. Um, I'm gonna rename my dragger to right hand. I'm going to add a dragger and call it our left hand. Okay, and I'm going to um, start off my rigging like normal too. So front I want tagged as front and also as a head. Head I want tagged as head and I'm going to add face behavior to that and attach it about where I want it to pivot. Um, left arm, I'm just going to do like I always do. So let's zoom in for a closer look. V for the pointer tool. Um, and I'm, I think I'm going to tag these right on the um, body today, or right on the arm today, um, just because I have to do the other arm that way, it'll be less confusing for me. Um, so L for the um, handle tool. I don't know why I always want to call it dagger tool. And right arm, I'm going to do the top right arm. Let's uh, hide the extra forearms here. I'm going to do the, the left arm, the top version, all on a single layer. I don't know if you have to, but when I was experimenting, that was how I got it to work correctly. So that's how I'm going to do it in the demonstration. This handle, I'm going to name exactly what I named my dragger, and I'm going to call it, this is the top layer, so I'm going to call it leader, and right elbow, I'm also going to name, and I'm going to call it leader. And then I'm going to copy everything by holding down shift. And I'm going to go to my right arm copy and paste everything. And then I'm going to attach it as closely as I can. Then I'm going to take the leader um, tag, select it, delete leader and put follower, and then same with the wrist tag. I'm gonna delete leader and put follower. Then the other thing I'm gonna do, on the top right arm, I'm gonna go to the right bicep, and up here, I'm gonna put opacity to zero. 
and then I'm going to go to the right arm copy. I'm going to take the forearm level and I'm going to make that opacity zero. Okay, and then before I forget, I'm going to add my behavior. So I'm going to add auto blink. I'm going to add blue my K and I'm going to add leader follower. Okay, I think, I think that's the arms done. So let's do the legs. And he's not going to be walking or anything, so I'm just going to do the legs the fast way. Oops. Is the tagging done? Um, I haven't done the eyebrow and the hand swap sets or anything, but let's just pull it in and see how it looks. So what we're hoping is that um, the dragger, yeah, I'm gonna have to adjust it a little bit. Um, and remember that we'll want to paste and um, do it on the the other arm exactly the same so exactly the same just with leader follower behavior but that works um, exactly like I hope the draggers are a little bit more particular when you've got leader follower behavior you have to grab right on them but yeah we can get the forearm in front and the bicep behind you you'd want to be careful how, how far back you go Let's put a different background on. Whoops. Ooh, that's horrible. That's horrible. Let's go for my standard beach there. So if you need two layers, that's how I would do it. And you can see that the bicep is is working as desired. Awesome, that's a, a successful experiment. Um, I don't know if we want to continue doing all the rigging. We might as well, I guess. Uh, so on, uh, we'll want to turn off the floaties on the head behavior. So head position strength zero, head tilt strength zero. And then we can go in and do our standard um, swap sets. So on the head, we'll want to do the brows first. Pull in our other brows. I've got my two layers in surprise, so I'm gonna cycle layers, or sorry, yeah, cycle layers, I always wanna call it cycle frames. I wanna apply my mask. Um, nose, we're going to want to center on the nose, we we'll want to make the ear, um, add base behavior to it, tag it as a head, add a bit of parallax. So this face behavior, let's try parallax at 200. Um, okay, and so for the swap sets for the left arm, you could just do as normal. So pull in your left forearms. Um, I guess I should set my defaults or keys for these. And we'll do our hands.
pull in all the rest of our hands. You need to let me know in the comments if I should fast forward <laughs> during the swap sets. Side open and open flat. Open up the L for left hand. And then right arm, you'd only have to do the top level right arm because the the forearms and the hands don't show on the the lower set. Just pull in all the rest of our hands. Last one, open flat. Okay, and we'll make open up Z and latch. So now when we go into record, all his hand sets should be working. So we'll just double check. L, P, and one. Okay, so to set up our timeline, we'll turn everything, everything off. Turn on only triggers and do one of each of our examples. Hit Control 2 and get everything on the timeline. You'd pull that the whole length. Delete everything but the bar. Then you'd want to go and set up your rest pose. So right hand should still control right hand. So control two to get two frames, pull that all the way out. Go back to the beginning. We'll do our left hand. There we go, and we're all set to animate. Um, yeah, he turned out really good. He's an interesting character. Um, I like I like his look. The parallax looks nice, even though his um, hairline doesn't move. It's kind of subtle. It's a little harder to get parallax on a three quarter um, view, I find. Um, anyway, I guess that's all I have to show off today. I hope everyone's having a great afternoon. Um, take care, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Bye. Here is a closer look at the arms in action so you can see you wouldn't want to go too far over, but really it looks great. It was exactly what we were hoping for. Anyway, have a great afternoon. Thanks again, everybody. Bye.